In this video, you're gonna learn about Vanguard VGRO ETF, one of the fastest growing ETFs in Canada. Hey, what's going on? My name is Chris Liu and I'm the creator of Wealth Awesome. If you're looking to invest in fixed income and equity ETFs, in Canada without having to worry about rebalancing your portfolio, Vanguard VGRO could be the perfect ETF for you. If you read my blog, you probably know that I'm a huge fan of Vanguard. The company is very unique in that it's basically like a non-profit asset management firm since all of the profits are returned to investors in the form of lower fees. I'm an even bigger fan of the relatively new Vanguard ETF portfolio series. The portfolios are a shining example of investing that's made simple for all investors. It's ideal for tax advantage accounts like a TFSA or RRSP. And the Vanguard VGRO ETF is one of my favorite ones in this series. Let's go over the reasons why. Let's start with what is Vanguard VGRO ETF? VGRO is a growth exchange traded fund or ETF portfolio that's been trading on a TSX since January 2018. Despite it only being active for less than three years, there's already $1.5 billion in assets in the fund, which signifies investors have a huge appetite for an easy passive investing solution with low fees. What types of investments are inside of VGRO? VGRO consists of several different Vanguard ETFs. The asset mixes are designed to give you worldwide exposure, as you can see here. For VGRO's asset allocation, 57.6% is split between US and Canadian equities, with international equities and emerging markets taking up around 22.8%. The rest consists of bonds from mostly Canada, but also some from the US and global markets. VGRO asset allocation. Currently, there are five different types of Vanguard portfolios, ranging in allocations from conservative to all equity. VGRO has an 80-20 split, making it 80% equities and 20% fixed income, which is why it's classified as a growth type of investment. One of the best features of these portfolios is that you don't need to rebalance it, as you would have to if you were making the portfolios yourself using separate ETFs. Because of this feature, you'll be saving on trading fees, plus you never have to worry about balancing or monitoring your asset mix. It's one of the easiest ways to invest in ETFs in Canada. VGRO MER. VGRO has a management fee of 0.22% and an MER of 0.25%. Even though this MER is higher than if you were to buy individual ETFs, I like it for several reasons. Number one, the portfolio is automatically rebalanced, so you never have to worry about your asset mixes getting misaligned from what your original goals are. Number two, the MER for VGRO is much lower than mutual funds. And number three, the MER for VGRO is even lower than robo-advisor. VGRO dividends. As of August 31st, 2020, it pays a 12 month trailing yield of 1.99% and a distribution yield of 2.28%. And it pays it every three months on a quarterly basis. VGRO performance. So there isn't much data on VGRO since it just started in 2018, but there shouldn't be too many surprises with its performance since the ETFs will perform its duties of mirroring the markets. There's no benchmark data here as the fund is too new for it to be included, but it should track the benchmark extremely closely. VGRO holdings. The top 10 holdings consist of top blue chip stocks in Canada and the US, as you can see below. Because you're basically getting exposure to the entire world of stocks, the entire holdings consist of thousands of different stocks. You'll always be diversified if you purchase VGRO and can rest assured that it will be large companies that should be around for the long term. Downsides or cons of VGRO. There's a couple negatives about VGRO. I personally feel there's too much Canadian exposure in VGRO. US stocks have historically outperformed Canadian stocks in the long run. So I would have liked to see an even higher weighting to the US. You don't have control over what sectors or countries you would like to overweight. And that's another problem that I see. You can't really customize VGRO. VGRO alternative, XGRO versus VGRO. iShares Core Growth ETF Portfolio or XGRO 
is a very similar product that's offered by BlackRock. XGRO has slightly lower MERs than Vanguard VGRO at 0.20 versus 0.25 and a slightly different asset mix also, as you can see here. The US and international weightings are slightly more and the Canadian and emerging markets are slightly less. Overall, there isn't much of a difference and you can't go wrong with either. However, until Vanguard lowers its fees to be the same as this iShares one, I think I would have to side with iShares. I like that it also has a higher US weighting here too. So who should buy VGRO? If you have a higher risk tolerance and have a TFSA or RSP account that you just wanna set and forget, Vanguard VGRO could be the perfect ETF for you to buy as the only holding for your entire account. You won't have to worry about rebalancing the portfolio or the account and your asset mix should stay at around 80% equity and 20% fixed income without you having to buy or sell anything in the future. But I know when I worked as a financial advisor, it was strange for a lot of people to buy just one ETF for their account. But in the case of VGRO, it wouldn't make sense to purchase multiple ETFs for one account. There'd be a lot of overlap and it would make the rebalancing feature of VGRO useless then. It isn't what VGRO was designed to do. It really was meant to buy as just one ETF for your entire account. And to buy VGRO, I like to use Quest Trade. I've been using them for a while now and the ETF purchases are completely free. It will cost a fee if you wanna sell an ETF, but it will be a very low fee. The platform's easy to use and the support has been outstanding so far. You can check out the link in the description. Vanguard VGRO is a great option for investors who want worldwide diversification and have passive index investing without needing to monitor the account at all. I like to think of investing like exercising. If the gym that you go to is difficult to get to and out of the way of your normal routine, the less likely you are to go to it. It's the same with investing. If it's too confusing or you need to monitor it too much, many people just won't bother with investing at all. That's why I think these new Vanguard portfolio series are so great. Just buy it, set it, and forget it. And watch your account hopefully grow over the years. So in all, I give this a Wealth Awesome score of 4.8 out of 5. The pros are it's easy to use and purchase. You can set it and forget it. It provides worldwide diversification in one neat package. And it has lower fees than robo-advisors and much lower fees than mutual funds. Plus, it's highly liquid and you can buy and sell it very easily. The cons are the country mix is too heavily Canadian weighted. The fees are slightly higher than some competitors. Those are a couple of the downsides. And in summary, VGRO is a growth ETF portfolio that automatically rebalances at a low annual MER. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be putting out new content every week. Also, be sure to check out the blog wealthawesome.com. It's one of Canada's fastest growing and leading personal finance blogs. It goes into this topic in way more detail, plus way more other topics like how to make money online, how to save money, and just other niche topics for Canadians to take a look at. So make sure you check it out. And as always, thanks for listening.